the World Cup, VFriends Iconics, and staking. You're gonna wanna see this. This video is made for entertainment and education. It's not financial advice. VFriends Iconics made a big splash this week. All VF Series 1 Spectacular holders received a one-of-one one iconic NFT featuring their spectacular character created by artist Jilang Boji in a Wedha pop art portrait fractured style. I'm so sorry if I pronounced most of that wrong. This art is reminiscent of his 2018 Crypto Strikers project that he did for the World Cup that year, which included special iconics that could also be staked for rewards during the tournament. Additionally, spec holders can claim a free 12x12 Meta Relics canvas of their VF Iconics character. This is really cool and rewarding for spec holders who invested in VF1. Now, here's where I think it gets really interesting. Gary is constantly giving hints, even unintentionally, and I want to bring a few together for you to tell you what I think is going to happen. First, here's part of a vid he released this week talking about the Iconics as well as trading card inserts. You think about 90s basketball inserts. They were so not understood for what they were going to be at the time of those Fleer and Skybox and other inserts. 20 years later, they're some of the most sought after modern cards in the world. Also, Gary has been fairly open about a future expansion of Compete and Collect coming soon. As I said in my September surprise video, an expansion could take better advantage of the attributes of the characters on the current cards to expand the gameplay like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. I wouldn't put it past Gary to already have Iconic's inserts lined up for the next Compete and Collect edition. I'm still debating on the mechanism for them delivering additional boxes of cards. It could come as a collab with the Fall Winter VFriends merch drop, where you get a box with your purchase there. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. So, understanding that about the Iconics and possible inserts, I think Gary has a plan for this year's World Cup that's going to be wild. The World Cup coming up is a huge inspiration of some of the impact that Crypto Strikers are gonna get uh, and looked at. Uh, the Iconic style is an inspiration. And Putting some pieces together here, he's kind of hinted at a World Cup fantasy game, the World Cup does start in November, and he's relying on his technical team to create something new before he makes his announcement next month. Further, just like Crypto Strikers brought Iconics and staking to the 2018 World Cup, I think Gary's taking this idea to phase two, and will be blending fantasy sports and staking with VFriends. With Crypto Strikers in 2018, users would buy packs of cards, trade NFTs for packs, or refer friends to get a chance to win iconic cards. Holders could then stake their cards and earn stars according to what happened during the games that would add an element of rarity to those cards. This could be exactly what Gary is aiming for, and it would be a huge development and draw a ton of interest into VFriends, depending on how well it's executed. In one sense, Rainmakers and DraftKings is a great trial run for this idea. Kalish, am I on the right track here? No! <laughs> Come on! As far as the Emerald Iconics go, I think we're all hopeful that Jeremy gets this one right and Book Games has a play here. Personally, I think if Gary does go the World Cup fantasy route, then the Emerald Iconics will be inserts in Superstar or Spectacular packs similar to what you see with VFriends Fantasy Football. All of this is speculation until Gary announces it, but it really would be fun to play this one if it does happen. Speaking of book games, we continue to see book games reach all-time lows. We could see tokens for less than $100 in the next few weeks. Until then, Web3 is the future. Book games is forever. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.